Welcome to the training video for the Oxford Instruments Plasma Pro 80, located at SNSF's Nano Pattern and Clean Room. First, enable the tool on Badger. This will turn on the computer monitor. The computer itself should be left on at all times. The PC4500 software should also always be left running. With the tool enabled, you can see the screen. Usually, the software is left on the pumping screen. If the software is not running, then open it by selecting PC4500. Now log into the software using the username capital OPT and password capital OPT. When you first open the software, you may see a yellow alert bordering the screen. Click the text yellow alert at the top. Next click accept to clear the alert. First, navigate to the pumping screen if not already there. To navigate between screens, use the circular icon located in the upper left corner of the screen. The three screens that you will use to operate the tool are Recipes, Process Chamber, and Pumping. Navigate to the pumping screen if not already there. The tool should be left in the evacuated state. At the bottom, click Stop, then Vent. You should wait for the venting process to fully complete. Check the message in the dialog box for venting time left, then pumping or venting stopped. Once vented, you can approach the tool. On the left side of the front panel is the lift controls toggle switch. Turn the switch to open. Then, depress the two green start buttons at the same time. You must hold both buttons down while the chamber cover rises and rotates 90 degrees. Now you may load your sample. For smaller samples, consider using the vacuum oil and carrier wafers provided next to the tool to prevent your sample from moving around as the chamber is evacuated or vented again. A thin, uniform layer vacuum oil provides best heat transfer and protection against sliding. Vacuum oil should be confined to the bottom of your substrate. Oil on the sides, top, or outside your substrate may interfere with the processing. For larger samples, you may choose to use the glass slides located near the computer to make walls around the sample to prevent sliding around during pumping and venting. Once your sample is loaded, turn the toggle switch to close and again hold down both green buttons until the chamber cover has completely returned to its original position. Now, return to the computer. At the bottom, select Stop, then Evacuate. The chamber will now begin pumping down. A dialog box will appear and ask if you want to generate a pump down log. Select No. Another dialog box will ask you to name your sample. If you have a sample in the chamber, you can give it a name for reference. If you are evacuating with no sample in, perhaps to do a chamber clean or run your process chemistry to season the chamber, select Cancel. Once again, use the circular icon in the upper left to navigate to the Recipes screen. The Recipes screen is divided into three main sections. The center section displays the currently selected recipe and all the processing steps in that recipe. You may load existing recipes and edit them, or create new recipes from scratch. The right section contains the step library and is useful for quickly assembling a new recipe or editing an existing one. To edit the steps in a recipe, click on an individual line inside the recipe editor and then choose Edit Step. When you select Edit Step, it will immediately open a screen that looks just like the process chamber screen. On this screen, while editing a recipe, you can manually select all of the parameters for this step in the recipe. These fields allow you to select the time for this processing step. These fields allow you to set the process gases as well as their flow rates in standard cubic centimeters per minute. These fields allow you to set the chamber pressure as well as the RF power. Please note that there is no helium supplied to this tool and setting helium backing will result in a process error. Also note that if there is no sample in the chamber, you must select no wafer for a recipe to run. When you are done editing and ready to run your recipe, select Run Now in the top center section of the Recipes screen. You may at this point navigate to the Process Chamber screen to watch the recipe run and monitor each of the steps. There are navigation buttons at the top left of the screen. These can be used to pause, run, or skip individual steps in the recipe if needed. Also, if you use the Step Hold function in a recipe, you will need to manually advance the step using the Play button.
When the recipe is complete, you will see a yellow border appear and a yellow alert message. Click the message at the top of the screen and accept the message. If you are done processing, then navigate to the pumping screen again and go through the steps to vent the chamber. Open it and remove your sample. When you have removed your sample, remember to close the chamber and also to pump it back down by selecting Stop, then Evacuate. Always leave the tool with the chamber under vacuum. Next to the tool is a logbook where you should fill in the details of your process. Also near the tool are the Quick Start Guide and SOP, which are useful references. Thank you for watching this training video. Please contact staff if you have further questions.